So people like him are more likely to vote than people like me. We've looked at this, and though technically she's talking about people 65 years or older, which I certainly am not. Or at least not yet. But the point is, if you compare the voting of people 65 or older to the voting of people under 40, people like him vote at twice the rate as people like me. That's right. In 2022, more than 72% of people 65 or older voted, while just 35% of people under 40 voted. So we wanted to know how things would have been different if in 2022, people under 40 had voted at the same rate as people over 65. So we built a model to test that. And our model used polling data from every congressional district. And it tried to estimate who would have won in each district. If people much younger than I, under 40, had voted as much as people older than I, slightly older than you, 65 years or older. And what we found was quite astonishing. Had the turnout of people under 40 been as high high as the turnout of people 65 and older, the House of Representatives would have flipped blue dramatically from its current Republican majority. 222 to 213. To an overwhelming Democratic majority. 230 to 205. Now, the Senate is harder to estimate. Only one third of the seats were up for re-election, and there were lots of safe Republican states. So if the moderate voters split proportionally, it wouldn't have changed things much. But if they had leaned Democratic, the Democratic majority in the Senate could have increased by as much as two seats. You can see the details in our report. So what would Congress have done if there had been a solid Democratic majority in the House and a filibuster-breaking majority in the Senate? Well, tons that they actually didn't do. Like a bill to restore the freedom of women to control their own bodies. Immigration and border reform student debt relief. If the majority in the Senate had increased, then Congress would have passed the For the People Act, the most ambitious democracy reform package since the Civil War. Certainly, the House would have increased the minimum wage and lowered drug prices. That's a lot, but here's the lesson. We could have a government that represents all of us. If only more like us were to vote. Actually, more like me. If we were to vote as much as his type does... Okay, technically not my type, but we get the point, Maya. If people under 40 voted as much as people 65 or older... That would change our democracy fundamentally. And it would certainly change our future. Or, put differently, if we're going to have the future that those living in the future want... Ouch. Yeah, but that's the whole point of this video. If we're going to have the future that those living in the future want... Those who will live in America's future must vote now. Now. Or at least on election day. You can make it till then, old man. Oh, man.